I'm gonna fucking die. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating our favorite memes. And today I'm gonna talk about memes from March 2019. And surprisingly, there are so many memes from March 2019. It's actually kind of crazy. I know. So, um, yeah, let's start off with some memes that um, that aren't really March. So first of all, we have the auto-tune memes, uh, which have been a thing for quite a while, but damn, uh, I've came, I've came, I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna put a snippet of that YouTube video in, into this video, uh, so, uh, y you can just experience the auto-tune for yourself. Oh my gosh, there is literally soap everywhere, fuck the negation. Oh, yeah, I I laughed my ass off uh, watching this video for the first time. And then and there's there there's another video uh, similar to this one. And is it's just I don't know. I don't know whose idea it was, but it is extremely ingenious to put auto tune over a, a person ranting or screaming or whatever. And it's just uh, a Daft Punk-esque masterpiece. And then up next, we have the Minecraft armor slash pixel art meme. I'm going to put them together because they're both Minecraft. And Minecraft is a hell of a good game. And uh, yeah, these memes, they are pretty creative. And um, while they are not that funny, they're still pretty creative. Yeah. And then we have a we have a, a an Instagram meme, and it's uh I I don't know where th did this video come from where how whatever, but uh uh, <laughs> uh a black guy was filming himself saying white people be like, and then black people be like, and people would put uh you know a video a video of a white guy smashing a a bowling ball into into the ceiling and causing everything to collapse and then black guy punching the air and you know dropping their pants off it's uh <laughs> yeah and another one uh, would be a uh, pita i don't really consider it a meme because it's not really that funny but a lot of people uh make made fun of pita which is an organization that um you know that aims to uh, protect animals, apparently, but uh, didn't succeed at all, apparently. So, um, yeah, I don't know. And then we have um, uh, a black guy beatboxing. I, I just really appreciate how... How much fun is this guy having? And then up next, uh, we have uh, Shaquille O'Neal eating spicy wings on Sean Evans' hot ones. We have hot wings with even harder questions. And uh, yeah, you know, Sha Shaquille O'Neal kind of dabs the, 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 the piece of chicken into onto his tongue a little bit. And then he was like, it's a good meme. And a lot of people... Uh, mash this meme with the Thanos meme, which is a meme that I'm going to talk about later. Anyway, up next, we have Dora the Explorer trailer. Uh, it's a movie. It's real. It's not It's not satire. It's, it's a real serious movie. It's coming out, and it's rated R18. Uh, <laughs> kind of crazy. I know it stars uh, Isabella Moner. And uh, there, <laughs> there's this one... One scene in the trailer where Dora the Explorer kind of jumps uh, in between rocks on top of a very deep ravine or something, and he tr and she tried to jump over, and she couldn't, and she kind of fell into the ravine. And uh, also, uh, apparently, Danny Trejo, I, I think it's his name, is voicing Boots. So I'm definitely going to watch this movie. I'm definitely going to watch this movie. And another meme 
that's probably the least funniest meme that I'm going to talk about in the entire video is the no one meme. At first, it felt kind of funny, but I feel like a lot of people are overusing it because it's such an easy meme to understand. Basically, no one, colon, and then insert name here, colon, insert words. I mean, there there are a few like no one memes that are actually kind of clever and... Um, you know, I can vibe with them, like the no one, JK Rowling, Harry Potter is bisexual. That moves on to another meme that is JK Rowling. Yeah, JK Rowling, a, 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 a very well-known writer, very famous one, came from the bottom to the top after she wrote Harry Potter, literally one of my favorite book fran franchises book series of all time i don't read that many books admittedly so um i mean there are probably a lot of other book series that are way better than harry potter and i'm just missing out because i'm such a pleb but seriously harry potter is it, it it's good it's really good and um yeah yeah anyway jk rowling recently started to talk about how Dumbledore is actually gay and that Dumbledore and Grindelwald had a very intense sexual relationship. And very recently, she said that Harry Potter is bisexual. And at this point, it's like she's writing fan fiction to her own story. And I don't know, man. I mean, it's good to embrace the LGBTQ community, okay? But you, you can't fan fiction write your own story <sighs> anyway another meme i have to talk about is the uh, billy eilish meme i guess she's kind of a meme i guess kind of uh yeah i'm gonna talk about her a little more on my album review uh but um yeah she's basically this uh edgy cool uh, kind of a depressed girl who makes these very uh, lo-fi, kind of dark flavored pop songs. And at first, I'm not a fan of her aesthetics because I think maybe it's a little pretentious. But uh, to be honest, some of her songs are actually pretty good. But uh, yeah, she's still a, a, a pretty funny person, I have to say, both intentionally and unintentionally. And uh, and then there's another meme that's I I shouldn't be talking about this meme, but be because it's actually early April meme. But I'm still gonna talk about it. It's the whole she believed he lied thing. It's a uh, it's like this fake deep thing where it says she believed, but in the word she we actually have a hidden word he, and in believed we have the hidden word lied so she believed he lied oh my gosh that's so deep and and oh man that's so like like relatable like oh yeah <laughs> and then uh yeah anyway here are my top three memes from march uh at number three um i don't know who this guy is but this black guy with very bad teeth um, recorded a video of himself saying go, go crazy, crazy go, go stupid, stupid. Oh! Oh! yeah i i can't i can't recreate the level of energy that he had in the video i just i just can't no matter how hard i try i just can't plus this morning in, in pe class i i you know i and all my other classmates had to run for five for nine minutes so i i'm totally out of energy right now but this guy go crazy go stupid ah! wow i truly feel kind of dizzy right now my second favorite meme of of march would be uh uh the the boy boy west coast bottoms up aka you was at the club you were bottoms up when i met you blah 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 whatever 
And uh, this video kind of got viral. It kind of uh, surfaced on Instagram from the Boy Boy West Coast's Instagram account. And then it started to become a thing. And the more I watch the video, the more I uh, I see how how hideous it actually is. How uh, how stupid it actually is. But again, I I'm just uh, it's just good to see uh, someone who's so satisfied and who's having so much fun with his own song, uh, even though the song is trash, total trash. But uh, I I still enjoy it, uh, yeah. And um, yeah, my number one favorite meme, my number one favorite memo of March has to be Thanos in Ant Man, whatever it takes. So people kind of speculated that Ant Man will be the one who defeats Thanos by shrinking into into the size of an ant and then going into Thanos asshole and then from Thanos asshole become big so Thanos will be ripped apart and as silly as that sounds that's actually the best way to defeat Thanos just yeah it's just genius in all sorts of different ways the only problem with this plan would be that it's probably going to suck for Ant-Man because it's probably going to be stinky. Ooh, But yeah, these are my favorite memes of March 2019. Like if you like it. Subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching. Lactic Acid. Ah.